Hello. Hi. Very good. Nice to meet you. Thank I'm you. Julian. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. And Dr. Wong, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. Could you introduce uh, the Paracelsus Clinic for, for me? Sure. Yeah. Be happy to. Paracelsus Clinic has been around for about 63 years. And it's a multidisciplinary clinic. We offer therapies that are some conventional, but mostly biological in nature. A lot of our patients come from different countries, from America, some from Asia, some from India, from Europe, and from Africa. And they come for various reasons. Yeah. And they come because we offer really unique therapies that other places, other countries don't offer these to their patients. Knowing that the root cause can create the disease, it is important from our perspective to treat not only the disease, but also to focus on the root causes as well. Biological medicine is based on three concepts. One concept is detoxification. That means helping the liver and helping the kidney better remove toxins. The second concept is the immune system and intestinal restoration, knowing that 70 to 80% of our immune system surrounds our intestine. It makes it extremely important that intestinal health is maximized in order to best establish health within a person. And the third concept, we're focused on rebalancing the regulatory systems and cell regeneration. This is a little bit less e easy to understand, but it focuses mostly on a person's ability to, you would say, eliminate toxins, a person's ability to regulate stress, and a person's ability to best approach stress in a healthful way. With these three pillars, in working with so many thousands of patients over the years, we found that not only do they address the root causes, but they help to furnish or make available again an easier way for a person to once again embrace their health. What kind of the patients uh, from the different country you be there? What kind of the That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Great question. You know, with our international clientele, oftentimes our patients are looking for an answer that's not found in their country. So they might come for autoimmune conditions, they might come for autism, they might come for Lyme or multiple sclerosis. Um, perhaps they even come for cancer. This is a very large area of our patient care because a lot of patients are looking for something different that isn't being offered um, or accessible in their own country. Yeah. Uh, how many uh, cancer patients will be here each year? Oh, that's a oh, that's a difficult question to answer. You know, broadly speaking, we tend to have about ten patients per month mm -hmm. who are coming for cancer care. And this ranges from solid cancer types, such as prostate cancer or breast cancer or lung cancer or colon cancer. And some come due to, you say, blood-associated cancers, such as lymphoma or leukemia. And it's really a, a situation that's unique that offers us an opportunity to educate them differently about their condition and offer them therapies that are really effective for, for that kind of care. Yeah. Uh, what kind of the special uh, treatment mm -hmm. for the cancer patients mm -hmm. in your clinic? Yeah, that's also a very good question, very specific. Mm, we have a couple of different, I should say, three really unique treatment options, machines that are specific to cancer care. One machine is called Oncotherm, mm -hmm. and this is referred to as local regional hyperthermia. It's a machine that was developed in Hungary back in the early 1900s, 1900s, 1990s, and has been used really effectively for treating solid tumors, breast, prostate, lung, colon, ovary. We also have another machine called Erotherm. This is a type of whole body hypothermia where a patient will lay on kind of a net and their temperature will be warmed 
And through this warming of temperature, it increases a person's immune system. And then the immune system becomes more active against, against the tumor. Yeah. And then the third machine, and what's really important to distinguish between the three is that the third machine called Papimi really helps to work with the membrane potential of the tumor cell. And it tries to push that the tumor cell isn't so unique and can find can be found better by our immune system to attack it. So we have the three machine types. We have the oncotherm that can be placed as a pad locally over the region. We have the erotherm where a person lays kind of on a bed, yeah, and has the temperature increase. And then papimi is a magnet. And a person sits in front of the magnet and makes a thump, 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 thump sound. Very painless, very comfortable to receive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to share some successful cases? Sure. Sure. You know, <clears throat> the, the challenging part of cancer care is we don't ever know if there's going to be an end, if a person's going to be cured or healed. Yeah. Every patient comes with the intention, I want to have this cancer removed. Okay. So there's a lot of work for us to do. Again, not again, but another point is it's sometimes difficult to know why a person has the cancer. Was this exposure to toxicity? There's been people who have come from the Ukraine and due to the Chernobyl explosion that happened back in 1987, there's people who have had radioactive experiences and they come due to that um, particular experience. Yeah. <clears throat> so to say success for us means hopefully we have tumor regression and hopefully a person's in a tumor regressive state and they're stable. Okay. So in this regard, we've had recently some really good success with prostate cancer. There is a gentleman, he's Swiss born gentleman. He's 73 years old and he was diagnosed by his urologist and oncologist with having prostate cancer. The oncologist recommended and urologist, why don't you just remove your prostate, prostatectomy, and then we give you what's called androgen deprivation therapy, ADT. His daughter and he thought about the option, were a little bit concerned about the side effects and thought to look outside of the typical box and create a plan to become educated about other options. His daughter, who's also a nurse and works in a hospital, had heard about Paracelsus Clinic and knew that we offered options that are effective and could be beneficial for her dad. So we started working together uh, in September of last year and wonderfully in January, we just saw each other two days ago, we can say that his tumor is no longer seen in the MRI that his prostate cancer has returned to normal. And we were able to achieve that through three different ways. One way, we did a lot of work on his diet mm. and a lot of work with his dental care mm. because he had sources of metal in his mouth, mm. amalgams, and a metal bridge. Mm. So we were able to care for that. The second part was that we worked specifically with the machine also doing local regional hypothermia mm. And we also work with infusions mm -hmm. to help work um, microbiology, biologically and biochemically against the tumor uh, material. And then we have a really wonderful treasure of uh, medicines in our pharmacy that we can draw from. And some of those medicines work in a very mm, hormone protective way. Mm -hmm. And we were able to utilize those as well in his plan which created for him a really wonderful success. So the pharmaceutical options, not pharmaceutical, biological medicine options, a supplement, his dental care, and the infusions and endeba provided the, the current, which is a person who's much happier. Mm. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Super. Super, yeah. Another question. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, I read some um, information about uh, your clinic. Uh, some pay, uh, some people um, 
want to become very young sure. <laughs> for anti <laughs> for, for anti aging medicine. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, what's the uh, um, uh, treatment sure. uh, for them? Ah, mm. that's a great uh, question. Yeah. You know, this is something that we read a lot about in magazines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and articles. There are a lot of patients out there who are concerned about becoming older and one of the things about becoming older is the concern of not knowing mm -hmm. what the body will do yeah so we try to meet that concern in a few different ways one way we do that is we always like to and this is a kind of a passive mm -hmm. way of helping them we always like to look for toxicity wow. okay because toxicity <clears throat> excuse me is a way that it works on the genes mm. and through an epigenetic way the genes can't maximize their healthful potential and through the toxicity the body wears faster mm. okay so we do a lot of testing for toxicity toxic metals mm -hmm. plastics herbicides and pesticides mm. that's one the other way and something that's been very um it's kind of a lucky mm -hmm. option that we have is there's some particular genetic testing that we can offer our patients to understand um, from their immune system how it's working and that there's nothing of an immune challenge that could be working negatively mm -hmm. against healthful upbuilding mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so this is a test it's a blood draw mm -hmm. we send it to a lab in germany mm -hmm. it does a particular measure of particular genes they provide the information to us relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. And then we can have this discussion with the patients about what genetically we might be able to support mm -hmm. in a different way through the therapies that we offer here. Mm -hmm. So firstly is the toxicity. The secondly is the, the genetic profiling. And then the third option is mm, we're working with some really unique products to help support better absorption. Mm -hmm and better utilization from antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more I can't tell you now, mm -hmm. but it's something that we're working on because we recognize, and this is something very consistent amongst our population group. A lot of people have what we call leaky gut, mm -hmm. okay? And leaky gut leads to basically, we say, inefficient absorption of material, mm -hmm. okay? With an inefficient absorption of material, and we know that food is body, mm -hmm. okay? If I'm not receiving the best nutrients mm -hmm. to help me grow and protect myself, then that's going to contribute as well to an aging process that's not so healthy. Mm -hmm. So if we can support better absorption, mm -hmm. then the antioxidants that come in can be more effective for the person and help to work against free radical damage which is basically what we all are experiencing daily. Mm. Yeah? Uh, how about the uh, bioidentical hormone therapy? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, your clinic uh, yeah. Yeah. offers. So, yeah. yeah, this is also wonderful. Thank you for bringing that up, mm -hmm. yeah? You know, hormonal therapy has been around for, oof, maybe the late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the hormones were derived from pregnant mm -hmm. horses. Yeah, from mares, we say in English. Unfortunately, that derivation, product derivation, led to an increase in ovarian cancer and breast cancer mm -hmm. for women who were taking them. <clears throat> Over the 80s into the 90s, especially in America, there were mm, biochemists interested in plant medicine mm -hmm. who looked to replicate mm -hmm from a plant structure, that of estrogen and progesterone and mm -hmm. testosterone. So wonderfully, our pharmacist has been working with biological, bioidentical mm -hmm. hormones for at least 15 to 20 years, oh. yeah? And so she's really well versed on the utilization mm -hmm. of bioidentical hormones using the source of wild yam, mm -hmm. a plant source, and helping to inform our patients about their use. Mm -hmm. But really particular to your question, as we age, all of us will produce less hormones, mm -hmm. okay? And as we know, the hormones are there to help upbuild, mm -hmm. to keep us strong, that we look healthy, that we don't lose hair, that our face is somewhat, you know, 
smooth. Okay. As we age and the hormones decrease, a lot of his experience, tiredness, mm -hmm. hair loss, wrinkling or dry skin, perhaps the libido changes, muscle atrophy, mm -hmm. they can't walk as long as they used to or they can't run as long as they, uh, as they used to be able to. And so the bioidentical hormones act as a, we say, anabolic mm -hmm. support in a natural way. Obviously, we have to take good care that a person doesn't have cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we wouldn't treat an estrogen positive patient with bioidentical hormones, mm -hmm. or we wouldn't treat a male with prostate cancer yeah. with testosterone. Yeah. yeah. But there's so many people who don't have cancer, mm -hmm. but are experiencing chronic fatigue or having difficulty with concentration or find that they're just their body is just not as strong as before and benefit greatly from the use of bioidentical hormones that we can offer our patients. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you're welcome. Thank you for your sharing. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much. your time. Thank Super you. Super lovely thank to you. be here. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay.